Hey guys, welcome to Tech Cruise Tutorial. Today we are going to talk about Etsy listing video, how to make a video for Etsy listing step by step. It is a step by step guide to follow easily. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. So let's dive right in. So for those of you who are not familiar with Etsy, this is actually an online marketplace where people can buy and sell unique handmade, vintage, and craft related items. So it is like an online craft fair or a artisan market where sellers showcase their products to potential buyers. So as you can see here, we have the different products here. So these are like t-shirt, but aside from t-shirt, we also have mugs or anything that includes designing. And if you're not new to Etsy, you should be able to notice this fantastic new feature on Etsy where listing videos automatically play when potential buyers hover on through their products. So this is actually a game changer and in this tutorial, we're going to walk you through the captivating Etsy listing video step by step. So why are we doing this since this is important? These make your product stand out. So instead of just showing static images, these short videos give potential buyers a dynamic and interactive view of what you're selling. So they could see your product from different angles, get a sense of its size and quality, and even see how it moves or looks in action. So this will help your buyer feel confident in their purchase decision because they have a better understanding on what they're getting. So it is actually like a mini demo onto what they're purchasing. And it is more appealing and it could also boost your sales onto Etsy. So as you can see, this is an example on what we're going to be doing today. And for us to be able to achieve this, what we'll just need to do is to head onto this website in here, which is Canva. If you're not also aware or familiar with this tool. So this is actually an online graphic design platform that's incredibly helpful for creating listing videos on platforms like Etsy. So it is packed with features that makes designing videos easy, even if you're not a design expert. So this will provide customizable templates, a variety of design elements and intuitive tools to arrange your images and text in visually appealing ways. So by using this platform, you could also add in animation and effects to your videos effortlessly and it's helpful because it simplifies the entire video creation process, allowing you to focus on showcasing your products effectively. Plus, it also ensures your listing videos look professional, helping you stand out in a competitive world of e-commerce. Now, the first thing that you'll need to do is to simply search Canva onto your local browser so that you get redirected onto this page. Now you'll just need to head on to create a design here onto the upper part. Then right after, click on to custom size. So here onto the custom size for the width, let's add 2700. And here onto the height, it should be 2025. Then right after that, let's just go ahead and click on to create new design. Now you'll get redirected onto this page wherein you'll get the option to edit it already. So the first thing that you'll need to do is just simply click onto the upload button in here so that you could add in your mock-up. So if you're not familiar with that, that is actually, for example, if you're selling a t-shirt, mock-up store might offer mock-up images of blank t-shirts that you can digitally customize with your own designs. So these will allow you to create professional looking product images without the need for an actual photo shoot or physical inventory. We have a link onto the description onto an Etsy shop that offers some mock-up items so you could browse through all of the mock-ups in here so that you could choose which one you want to add your design on and once you have gone ahead and already purchased it you'll just need to head onto the upload section of your canva you're gonna go ahead and drag it drop it in here so that we could go ahead and edit it further now as you can see in here i've gone ahead and drag and drop a video in here that we could use so that we could add in our design once it is uploaded we're just gonna go ahead and simply drag it and drop it in here so we'll just resize this one out so that we could make it to the center so let's do it like that and we could also drag it like that so as you can see this cross onto the middle will help us find the center of this and let's just click onto the outside and as you can see we have successfully placed it onto the middle now the next thing that we could do in here is to add in a design so you could just simply upload also in here the different designs that you have if you have one but since I don't have any prepared design, so I think this one will do. Let's just simply go ahead and add it. And let's just resize this one out and do it like that. Have it placed onto where you want to have it seen onto your video. And then right after, you'll just head here onto the upper part. You'll just gonna go ahead, click onto this transparency. And then we're just gonna go ahead and slide it like that. So that it would look like it blended onto the shirt. So make sure that it would blend well. So as you can see, it, it is a little hazy or it is kind of not seen onto the video since 
this one was not really made for a design but if you have one make sure to just do those steps and adjust if needed so that you could go ahead and simply add it and as you can see it would look like this so you could see your design here onto the shirt and it is preferably best if you've used something that is not really moving or the item is not moving just the outside of it or anything but since this is just for a tutorial i think this will do so we'll have different options that you could use in here to design your mock-up you could add in some elements here onto the outside of the video just for more design you could add in some text as well so let's try to add in some text so you could add this huge sail in here let's resize this here and place it like that so as you can see you could add in any designs that you prefer so that you could have your mock-up video real nice and once you are already satisfied with how it looks you're just gonna go ahead here onto the upper part you should be able to see a preview button with this duration in here just simply click onto it so that you should be able to see what it would look like and then right after that you'll have the option to share it you can share it with people groups or, or your team or you'll have an option to download it directly so just simply click on the download and you will see different file types in here that you could use but for this one just suggest it is mp4 video and you're just gonna go ahead and click on to download to download this whole video now if you want to design a video mock-up but you have your design ready already or some photos that you have compiled already for your design here's a step on to how you should do it so let's just remove all of the designs in here first so let's remove that so that you're just gonna go ahead and upload the photos that you want so for example we have these photos in here so let's just assume that we already have the design onto it let's just go ahead and simply click onto it you're just gonna go ahead and resize it so this is just for an example and then you're just gonna right click onto this and you're just gonna set this image as a background then right after you have set it as an image you're just gonna right click onto it and you should be able to see the different tools here onto the upper part to show up so you're just gonna click onto the animate in here and you should be able to see the different combinations in here and what we're gonna use is this brief option so I'm just gonna go ahead and click onto that and as you can see the photo that you have added is already moving you could also adjust the timing onto it you could add it down to seven seconds or you could just shorten it up into three seconds and you could do a preview on how it should look like then right after that so that you could add in more photos onto it what you'll need to do is just simply duplicate or add in a page so we're just gonna go ahead and duplicate the certain page in here just simply click here onto the upper part the duplicate page and then right after once you have duplicated already you should still see this animate breathe in here let's remove this one and replace this with another image here onto the photos that you have uploaded so you'll just simply drag and drop it and then do the same thing earlier to resize it and have it like that and then right after just go ahead and set this as a background click onto it and make sure that it has the same timing and it also has the same animation so you'll just need to repeat the same process onto all of the photos that you have onto your device and for you to be able to do a quick preview you'd like to simply click here onto the upper part and as you can see this is what it looks like so it will show a quick preview onto the products that you were selling and then once you are already satisfied just go ahead and click onto the share button again and then click onto the download option choose a file type and then right after just simply click on to download and that's how you create a c listing video and if you think this tutorial was helpful to you don't forget to hit the like subscribe and if you have any question don't hesitate to comment it down below thanks for watching and we'll see you on to our next video